Now, I don't talk about kids on this channel, and this video is certainly not going to be me bashing the Kardashian offspring because they're kids, innocent in all of this. But I'm going to be talking about how the internet has reacted to what this famous family has been doing in order to set up the next generation, and how in this world of people hating on Nepo babies, they are truly just setting them up to receive hate. Now, let's first talk about nepotism and what it is. By definition, nepotism is the practice among those with power or influence of favoring relatives, friends, or associates, especially by giving them jobs. Now, this is relevant in so many aspects of life, not just in the entertainment industry. This could be a parent getting their sibling or a child a job at a company that they already work at. But it's talked about so much when it comes to entertainment. And the reason the act of nepotism upsets people so much is because sometimes these people getting an advantage haven't worked as hard or aren't as qualified as those who aren't getting a job or aren't even able to get their foot in the door because they don't have that kind of industry connection. Or maybe they've interviewed for the job, but someone's son is coming in and they're prioritized over them just based on their blood. Now, when it comes to the entertainment industry, the criticism of nepotism has been loud, but mostly when people try to deny their nepotism. We recently talked about how Kendall Jenner tried to deny her nepotism, feeling like she didn't have help getting where she is, or at least not as much help as people think. People were quick to dig up clips from the Kardashian reality show, finding footage of Chris saying that she had called all these modeling agencies trying to set Kendall up for success. It seems celebs often think that admitting that they've had a leg up in some ways takes away from their success and they get offended. When in reality, people only mention it so others kind of get an understanding of how they got to where they are in some degree. And the term Nepo baby is the one that's been used the most these days when talking about nepotism, especially in celebrities. The entertainment industry is one that is extremely hard to crack into and people always want to know how did this person get where they are. There's plenty of stars who are seen as Nepo babies that have far succeeded their family members who originally got them their foot in the door. So nobody is trying to say that those with nepotism aren't capable of working hard, but a lot of them are taking offense to it like they're saying that. And conversations about nepotism in the Kardashian family have been brought up once again because Northwest landed the role of young Simba at the Hollywood Bulls live performance of The Lion King last week. People were quick to say that she had only landed the role because of her famous parents and began to criticize her performance, saying that they felt bad for anyone else who auditioned for the role and was highly qualified only for a celebrity's child to be chosen over them. Oh, I just can't wait to be king. Oh, I just can't wait. This is a prime example of why society is starting to really despise rich people and particularly Nepo babies. There's no way in hell that Northwest should have been the person to get this role. And granted, her mom is Kim, so she made it happen. But as someone who has been singing since childhood, and as someone who was a theater kid, and as someone who's done multiple shows and knows what it's like to be talented at a very young age, she robbed several children of the opportunity to actually further their careers by actually playing this part. Jason Weaver was a similar age as her when he sang and did The Lion King. So when you see people saying what they're saying about this whole performance, don't respond with, oh, she's only 10, she's only 11, she's a child. Yeah, but there are children who are phenomenal actors, phenomenal dancers, phenomenal singers at the age of five, let alone the age of 11. The performance is trash and it was bought. End of story. Now, it seems according to sources, she didn't take the role from anyone who auditioned as it sounds like they had her in mind the entire time. I will say that I've seen people on TikTok share videos of kids that have auditioned for The Lion King for this specific young Simba role, but I feel like it must be for a different production unless the Kardashians have gone to the press to try and change the narrative of the whole situation. But according to reports, they sought out North and it was the only person that they had in mind, at least for this specific specific Hollywood Bowl performance. Daily Mail wrote in an article, according to sources, the young star didn't have to compete against anyone else for the part, which came 
as a result of her family's ties with the production company behind the event, which was held at the Hollywood Bowl last Friday. Later, they said that The Lion King at the Hollywood Bowl and The Kardashians reality show are both produced by the same production company, and that's where the connection was, and that North was told that if she could carry a note, the gig would be hers. And this isn't the biggest surprise. I mean, the Kardashians have very close ties to Disney because their show is on Hulu and Disney owns Hulu. And so someone working on their show was also working this and she got the role. Now, here's the thing. This is coming soon after Kendall just denied trying to be a Nepa baby. So that really amplified the whole conversation going on here when it came to this specific family and Northwest having this role. Because people are just seeing what Kendall said and they're just assuming that this whole family is just ungrateful for the opportunities presented to them. And although it may not be the case when Kendall is trying to deny her opportunities and say things like her family actually made it harder for her to succeed, people are like, just be serious. Just admit that you had a little help. It's not that big of a deal. But for all of this to be happening at the same time, people are like, well, does North even appreciate this? Does Kim even know how big of a deal this is? Do they understand the gravity of a role like this? and are just kind of rolling their eyes at the family, thinking that the cycle is continuing as they pass down their connections and level up this next generation. Because truly, this is an incredible opportunity the family was able to get for North. The Hollywood Bowl is a huge venue, one of my favorites in LA, and for her to be performing on the stage is a dream for so many performers. Who wouldn't want to give their child access to an opportunity like this? I think showing appreciation for the ability that they have to provide this to their next generation of their family would certainly take them a long way. I'm sure people would still have things to say about them, but I think people just get angrier when they think that they don't care or seem to know how much access they actually do have to opportunities like this. Now, aside from North, there was a whole other Kardashian conversation going around this week, kids wise, as Mason, Courtney's eldest son, joined Instagram. Chloe and Kim reacted to his first post on Instagram, commenting, I can't believe this is happening. And Kim said, you're really on Instagram. And they've all all been giving him a shout out with Kim saying, I can't believe Mason is on IG. Everyone follow my nephew at Mason Disick. Chloe said, I can't believe my at Mason Disick is on Instagram. The one who named us Kiki and Coco is a legit teenager. Courtney posted, my first baby is on Insta and I'm not okay at Mason Disick. Now it isn't his first time on social media as he tried to make an account when he was 10 and went live and was reading all these comments, answering questions, even about Kylie and Travis. And so his parents quickly shut that down and he hasn't been on again until right now. And with these Instagram shout outs from his famous family, I'm sure he'll be at a million followers by the time I post this video, which is just another example of how this family can connect you. They can boost you up. I mean, a freaking story from one of these sisters is like a multi-million dollar shout out. So I'm sure all the brands that are paying them to post a little story for them are so jealous of Mason being blood relatives with this family so he can get one for free. But speaking of the brands that they work with, and aside from all of the kid next generation Kardashian drama that is currently going on, let's talk about the queen of the family, Kris Jenner, the person that keeps it all going. She's been posting on Instagram and people are a little bit weirded out and confused by it. Basically, she's been doing some ads and it's not very clear that they're ads, but they're also clear at the same time. Like you can tell that it's an ad, but she's not disclosing it. In one of her Instagram photos, she said, at home in my favorite at LO looks. And all of the photos are stage professional pictures. And it's so obvious that this is something that she's being paid for. Like it's not some casual photo where she decided to post wearing her favorite brand. The whole thing is giving staged. It's like when Kylie does her monthly promotion of the glow drink, she just captions it by tagging them, but never says it's a promotion. It has been reported that she's a stakeholder and brand ambassador for the company, but it's never disclosed in any of the posts. But can we really be surprised that the Kardashians aren't disclosing something? It happens all the time with them in all aspects but they just continue on. And maybe this is where Michaela is learning to do this from because we all know that Michaela does not like to disclose ads at all ever unless a brand is making her. So maybe she's been taking a note out of the Kardashian playbook. But that is what is currently going on with this famous family from the next generation starting to make headlines to the whole nepotism conversation and these undisclosed ads. Let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comments. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys. Oh, my God.